Hello folks, ladies and gentlemen. Me and my partner is looking to start up a new YouTube channel um, to spread the gospel to the ends of the earth and to teach and to preach and, and to give people a sense of direction in their lives. Uh, my name is Nigel Pollock. I'm from Northern Ireland, which is in the UK. And I am, I'm 26 years old and uh, I'm also doing this here YouTube channel with my partner, my fiance, Prasi Mugarawera, who is currently living in Uganda. And um, we, pray, we, we, we pray that you earnestly pray for us in helping us flourish this channel and helping people without no hope. So we earnestly ask you for your prayers and um, hopefully there will be exciting things coming to the channel. And uh, so what way it will be going is I will be teaching the Word of God and uh, preaching the Word of God and uh, of course I plan it to my own self as well as sharing it with you. And at the end of it, my partner, my fiance, Prasi Mugarawera, will be singing a song to the Lord and hopefully sharing that, being able to share that with you. And uh, that will be a blessing for us to be able to share the gospel and sing praise unto the Lord. And, uh, and our channel is called Joined to Christ Ministry. And if you have any questions or anything at all or any help, you need spiritual help, direction, prayer, anything, just please don't hesitate and email uh, join to Christ ministry at gmail.com and we will be happy, happy, we will be happy to help you in your journey with Christ. I would like to read a short thing out uh, for you to you and it's what I wrote uh, what I've been feeling in my heart and I hope it helps that would be great if it did and I will read it out for you now we must be subject to change if we are to live out the characteristics of the Sermon on the Mount what we are looking for is a conclusive attitude toward others regardless of their background. Having a Christ-like manner in word and especially in deed. For whatever the reflection in the mirror that you may see is by no means more important than the outward pouring of your actions that flow from your heart which will either condemn you or will make you grow graciously, flourishing it, the, the love toward others. That is in Christ Jesus. We all must come to that road in our lives and be not mistaken. You may be on it now. That is the road of decision. Either you take the broad way that it seems to me everyone wants to head for, which leads to no hope, a sense of false protection, and a terrible pride that one has in oneself, like the blind leading the blind. Or, on the other hand, there is the narrow road. This is the road that has light and makes you part ways from the broad road that leads to destruction. When you choose the narrow road, you have now turned your back against the direction that leads so many into self-destruction. You are now facing the tide. But I would rather face the tide than be facing the wrath of the Almighty God. You must make a compromise within yourself in what way you will take. Follow me, they say. I will follow none but Christ Jesus. 
It makes my heart cry with sorrow when I hear the words of the latter part of Luke chapter 18 verse 8 which says Nevertheless when the Son of Man cometh shall he find faith on the earth. So many confess to be in Christ but so many live in their own comfort of self-destruction. Leaving that what is right to do to that what is wrong. Let me tell you the truth. When it comes to Christ Jesus, it is all or nothing. Don't be deceived. You cannot say your morning prayer and once done join hands with those who are on the broad road. Then you are in your own comfort of self-destruction. Bring your body under the authority of the living Christ Jesus and let your mind be set on those things that are above where Christ sits. We are at war within ourselves when we compromise everything for the glory of God. The enemy, the devil, is after your very soul. And the only defense you have is the word of the living God. But it can only be effective if you truly believe it is your only authority. Now, I don't know where you stand. I don't know where you are in your life, what you're going through. Uh, and I don't pretend I do. But what I'm telling you is Christ is our only hope. For if Christ has not been resurrected, then let's all be merry. Eat and drink, for tomorrow we die. We have no hope. But in this life, if there's only one hope, it is Christ. For he has been resurrected. And he is our only hope. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through Christ Jesus. So... If I could give you a word for today, it would be simply go on to prayer. If you don't know him, read the Gospels, come to faith and repentance in Christ. And through your faith you will start bearing fruit. And through the fruit, that is when your actions will be shown to the world. And then they will glorify Christ your Lord and Saviour. So thank you folks for watching and um, we will be back with a new video very very soon and this is my partner, my fiance and my love Prasi Mugarwera singing. Thank you very much and God bless. To the river I am going, bringing sins I cannot bear. I am going to the river, Lord, I need to meet you there. In these waters, healing masses, Flows with freedom from despair. I am going to the river. Lord, I need to meet you there. Precious Jesus, I am ready to surrender every care take my heart now lead me closer lord i need to meet you there precious jesus i am ready to surrender every care Take my hand now, lead me close every care. 
Take my hand now, lead me closer, Lord, I need to meet you there. Come and join us in the river, come find life beyond compare. He is calling. He is waiting, Jesus longs to meet you there. He is calling, he is waiting, Jesus longs to meet you there. Precious Jesus, I am ready. To surrender every care Take my hand now Lead me closer Lord, I need to meet you there Take my hand now Lead me closer Lord, I need to meet you there